This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Hydra. Hydra are in insanely difficult to train. More, more so than even an experienced trainer might guess. Each head must be trained independently, and untrained heads do not wait patiently for their turns. Do not wait. Trainers must use aggressive magical aid to even begin the training process. A spellcaster can make a decent living just casting charm monster every few days to keep the other heads docile while the trainer works with a single head. <clears throat> Training the largest hydras can take years and failed handle animal checks can be disastrous. For this reason, any trainer who consents to even attempt this task usually refuses to train a hydra with more than five or six heads. Carrying capacity. Light, 516 pounds. Medium, 1,038 pounds. Heavy, 1,560 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 23 slash 30. Five heads, 24 slash 31. Six heads. Egg price, 4,000 gold pieces. Five heads. 4,500 gold pieces. Six heads. Training cost, 1,500 gold pieces per head. 2,000 gold pieces per head. Pyro, Hydra, or Cryo Hydra. Challenge rating and mounts. Using the encounter level rules found in Chapter 4 of the Dungeon Master's Guide, treat a character and her mount as a mixed pair. Thus, the EL of the group is 1 more than the character's CR if her mount's CR is 3 less than her level. This is a decent rule of thumb until about 8th level. Creatures above 5 HD are generally varied enough in their tactics and useless that a DM must take them into account as much as party members. Unless the mount does nothing more than transport characters and occasionally help fight, it's probably a good idea to begin treating it as a cohort. Nightmare. Nightmares are untrainable. They do as they will and do not suffer fools. Even powerful evil creatures must dominate nightmares to ride them as mounts, either magically or through sheer force of will. Afterward, a nightmare serves willingly, but only as long as it thinks its master is a means to a more power to more power and pleasure for itself. Since a nightmare since a nightmare's greatest pleasure is to spread evil and fear, this is an easy achievement. Carrying capacity, light 300 pounds, medium 600 pounds, heavy 900 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 28 slash 35. Young price, 5,000 gold pieces. Training cost, slash or nothing. Purple worm, riding on the outside of a purple worm is impossible. So mind flyers ride inside it. They place an irritant inside a purple worm's mouth that causes the growth of a large cyst. After a cyst reaches roughly 15 feet in diameter, the elithid drains its new cyst saddle and rides in the worm's mouth. The cyst's membrane is stretched so thin that it is nearly transparent. The mind flare 
uses Charm Monster to keep the worm compliant during training. But since purple worms have no language, illithid riders must lower themselves to issuing commands verbally in under cop. A purple worm with a cyst saddle in its mouth can swallow only medium sized or smaller creatures. If the worm successfully swallows a creature whole, that creature can make an attack of opportunity against the cyst, AC5, as he or she passes. An opponent balancing on or flying into the worm's maw without being swallowed can also attack the cyst. Until torn, the cyst provides full cover for the rider inside. However, its membrane is delicate. Only 10 points of damage tears the cyst and exposes the elephid inside to the worm's maw as well. Because of this danger, experienced riders order their mounts to swallow whole only when victory is certain and they wish to see a foe's terror stricken face on the way to oblivion. Purple worms have no place for cargo. Riders must carry any cargo on their persons. Carrying capacity. As, ri as rider, DC young slash adult, 34 slash 41. Young price, 15,000 gold pieces. Training cost, slash, or, or nothing. No one but mind flyers ever has ever trained purple worm. Rust Monster Although single-minded, rust monsters make surprisingly good mounts. When fed generously and treated well, they become friendly and even affectionate. Crowding around, uttering a staccato chit-chat chit noise and making feathery strokes with their antenna against the faces of trainers appro approaching with bags of scrap metal. Gnomes are the most common race to domesticate rust monsters, but some dwarf armies breed large specimens for special cavalry units. Clothed in hide armor and armed with stone hammers, a unit of the dwarves mounted on rust monsters can rout an opposing army in minutes. Carrying capacity, light 99 pounds, medium 109 pounds, heavy 300 pounds, DC young slash adult 23 slash 30, young price 1000 gold pieces, training cost 12,000 gold pieces. Skeletal horse, necromancers, leeches, and other dark beings find live horses skittish and their upkeep bothers them. When they need a mount, it is more expedient and characteristically ghoulish to slay a horse and cast animals dead, animate dead, on its corpse. Use the large skeleton statistics from the monster manual, except that a skeleton horse's speed is 60 feet. It attacks with two hooves instead of claws, dealing the same amount of damage, and its face and reach are as long a creature instead of a tall one, 5 foot by 10 foot slash 5 foot. Skeletal horses can not be domesticated. Carrying capacity light 174 pounds, medium 340 pounds, heavy 525 pounds. DC, young slash adult, slash or nothing. Young price, slash or nothing, and training cost, slash or nothing. Tendriculus. The only known way to train a Trendiculus is to raise it from a seed grown in a special mixture that negates its paralytic digestive juices. This makes the Tendriculus completely dependent on its master since it can no longer digest food. The Tendriculus needs someone to feed it pulped meat. If left alone, it starves. 
with its digestive acids so neutralized, the stomach of the chondriculus is a perfect niche for riders and cargo. A device resembling a bear trap serves as a bridle to lock the trendiculus's jaw open or shut. For the, rider's visi for the rider's visibility or protection, respectively, and to provide contact points or reins with this device activated, the tendriculus cannot use its bite attack. In training, the tendriculus is taught not to swallow enemies whole, since that puts an enemy inside with the rider. However, these savage plants get carried away. In battle, a rider must make a successful ride check DC-20 to control this swallowing instinct the first time a tendriculus grabs a creature. Carrying capacity. Light 2,400 pounds. Medium 4,800 pounds. Heavy 7,200 pounds. DC young slash adult 27 slash nothing. Seed price, 3,000 gold pieces. Training cost, 2,000 gold pieces. Wyvern, or wavern. Despite its claws and wicked sting, a wavern is a far safer mount than one of its more intelligent cousins. Once caught and tamed, a wavern behaves predictably and follows relatively standard training procedures. Though reputedly stupid, Wave waverns are better described as tactically challenged. When properly disciplined and cared for, a wavern can learn many different commands and follow complex orders, even away from its master. However, if it is confused or hurt without a master to issue orders, it reverts to instinct and attacks the source of its discomfort. A wavern can never be domesticated. Carrying capacity, light 696 pounds, medium 1,398 pounds, heavy 2,010 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 25 slash 32. Young price, 3,000 gold pieces. Training cost, 3,000 gold pieces. New exotic mounts. These new creatures can be used as mounts. Equine Golem, Large Construct, Hit Dice, 6d10, 33 hit points, Initiative, plus 1, Speed, 50 feet, AC, 15, Negative 1 Size, plus 1 Dexterity, plus 5 Natural, Touch 10, Flat Foot, 14. Attacks, 2 Hooves, plus 8 Melee, and Bite, plus 3 Melee. Damage. Hoof 1d8 plus 5, bite 1d4 plus 2, face slash reach, 5 foot by 10 foot slash 5 foot, special attacks, shatter, special qualities, construct, dr, 5 slash plus 1 magic immunity, saves, 4 plus 2, ref plus 3, will plus 2. Abilities, Strength 21, Dexterity 13, Constitution Slash, Nothing, Intelligence Nothing, Slash, Wisdom 11, Charisma 1, Climate Slash Terrain, Any Land and Underground, Organization, Solitary, Challenge Rating 5, Treasure None, Alignment Always Neutral, Advancement 7 through 12 HD large. Equine golems are golems shaped as heavy war horses instead of humanoid. An equine golem, a golem is faster and more agile than a regular golem, but less durable. The standard material used for golems is too heavy to make a good horse, and earth elements are too plodding to make a swift mount. Instead, equine golems are crafted out of thick hardwood, and the animated spirit is an air elemental. Equine golems leave no scent, 
They creak quietly as they walk, but can gallop timelessly, moving at a full run for an entire day, 180 miles per day, with a light load. Because the golem doesn't flex with the rider, however, riding one all day at a gallop is sore work. Riders who attempt to ride longer than 8 hours per day begin to feel the effects as if under a forced march. See Chapter 9 of the Polaris Handbook. Since these mounts are constructs, they need no training. They simply do what their masters tell them to the best of their ability. Combat an equine golem attacks as a warhorse, leading with hoof attacks against whatever its master points out. It can fight while carrying a rider, but the rider cannot also attack unless he or she succeeds on a ride check. Shatter SP Three times per day, an equine golem can emit an ear-splitting whiny which acts as a shatter spell cast by 10th level sorcerers. Magic Immunity EX an, a, an equine golem is immune to all spells, spell-like abilities, and supernatural effects, except as follows. A warp wood or a wood-shaped spell slows it, as the slow spell, for 2d6 rounds. A repel wood spell pushes it back normally, but if the golem resists the spell, it can hold its ground. This spell never splinters or breaks any part of the construct. Fire and electricity effects char. Fire and electricity effects char the golem, but do not harm it. Carrying capacity: light load. 459 pounds, medium 918 pounds, heavy 1,380 pounds. Construction. An equine golem's body must be carved from a single hardwood tree at least 100 years old. A golem costs 20,000 gold pieces to create, which includes 400 gold pieces for the body. Assembling the body requires a successful craft woodworking check. DC 13. The creature must be 12th level and able to cast arcane spells. Completing the ritual during 750 XP from the creator and requires animated objects. Geese slash quest, limited, wish, phantom, steed, and shatter. Zartan, Colossal Magical Beast, Hit Dice, 3, no, 38 D, 10, plus 345, 554 HP, Initiative, 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 plus 0, Speed, 10 feet, Swim, 30 feet, AC, 32, Negative 8, Size, plus 30 Natural, Torch, 2, Flat Footed, 32, Attacks, blue plus 46 melee. Damage, fight, 4 dice, 6 plus 24. Face slash reach, 80 feet by 100 feet slash 40 feet. Special attacks, fin sweep. Special qualities, dark vision, 60 foot, low light vision. Saves, 4 plus 30, ref plus 21, will plus 16. Abilities, Strength 43, Dexterity 11, Constitution 28, Intelligence 6, Wisdom 19, and Charisma 12. Skills, Listen plus 12, Spot plus 12, Swim plus 24. Feats, Alertness, Toughness. Climate slash Terrain, Warm Aquatic. Organization, Solitary. Challenge Rating, 20. Treasure, Double standard. Alignment usually neutral. Advancement 39 through 76 HD Colossal. These enormous sedentary turtles are easily mistaken for small island islands. For small islands. 
clever or lucky groups of people who find one can ride it. Zeratans normally ride the warm ocean con currents with their mouths open, allowing food and jetsam to wash in. Shipwreck sailors are sometimes found living on a Zeratan's back. Some don't even know they're on a turtle. No fewer than four people can attempt to steer a Zeratan. The primary rider must stand on the shell near the head and shout or sing loudly to the creature, giving instructions and motivation to overcome its natural lethargy. Riders can make diplomacy, intimate, intimidate, or perform checks DC-31 to get the Zeratan to carry out their wishes. Other riders must stand equidistant around the circumference of the shell and stamp their feet or pound it with a bludgeoning weapon to encourage the Zeratan to go only forward in no other direction. They may also make aid another attempts aid another attempts with any appropriate skill, though the frontmost rider might not need aid to convince the Zeratan to move. It is not sufficiently motivated without these vibrations. A Zeratan's rocky shell is 80 feet long and 80 feet wide with a sandy outer layer where seeds and pollen take root, sometimes growing into small trees. Even larger Zeratans have been reported by old sailors telling tales around the fire. Combat if attacked, Zeratans prefer to flee rather than fight, but they are able defenders. At first sign of aggression, a Zeratan pulls its head and flippers into its shell, waiting for the attacks to stop. If the attacks continue for more than two rounds, it lashes out with a bite and sweeps with its fins for one round, then swims away in the next round. It continues to alter to alternate attacking and fleeing until the opponent is discouraged or dead. If a Zeratan knows it has riders, it will never dive underwater unless its life is in danger. Fin Sweep EX The Zeratan thrashes all four of its fins simultaneously, affecting everything in the water in a 40-foot radius. Objects and creatures within the swept area automatically take 2d8 plus 16 points of bulge, bulgening, bludgeoning damage. Affected creatures can attempt a reflex save DC 38 to take half damage. Training a Zeratan Zeratans do not appear to be trainable. They are intelligent. They are intelligent enough to carry out even complex commands under direct orders, if delivered with appropriate vigor, but lapse into dim torpor, dim torpor when orders cease. These creatures have incredible long lifespans, and young Zeratans are so rare as to be a non-issue. Rather than capturing and training a Zeratan, explorers must simply use one when available. Zeratans can understand rudimentary commands in most languages, including common, but speak only Aquan. Carrying capacity, light 76,800 pounds, medium 153,600 pounds. Heavy 230,400 pounds. Sour. Sour Whale. Colossal Magical Beast. Hit dice 32d10 plus 291. 467 hit points. Initiative plus zero. Speed fly 20 feet good. AC 14. Negative 8 size, plus 12 natural, touch 2, flat-footed 14. Attacks, 
Tail Slap, plus 38 melee. Damage, Tail Slap, 2 dice 6, plus 21. Base, slash reach, 40 feet by 80 feet, slash 15 feet. Special Attacks, Brief Weapon. Special Qualities, Dark Vision, 60 feet, Low Light Vision. Saves, 4 plus 27, Breath plus 18, Will plus 12. Abilities, Strength 39, Dexterity 10, Constitution 29, Intelligence 1, Wisdom 14, Charisma 6. Skills, Listen plus 3, Spot plus 3, Feats, Toughness. Climate slash Terrain, Temperature and Warm Land. Organization, Solitary, Pair, or Pod, 5 to 20. Challenge rating 15, treasure none, alignment always neutral, advancement 33 through 70 HD, colossal. Soar whales resemble unusually large baleen whales that swim through the air instead of in water. They, dim they, they domesticate easily and are wildly used as cargo transports by civilizations that occupy high places. A sour well is a cross between a vehicle and a creature. It is not so much ridden like a horse as steered like a ship. A gondola, a gondola is commonly slung or under the sour well to haul passengers, although occasionally a sour well is outfitted with an enormous howdah so that passengers can ride on top. Both docile and strong sour wells are used to carry tons of cargo over long distances. Quarry owners find especially them useful for delivering stone to customers hundreds of miles away. Sour wells are also used as riding platforms by air pirates and as sky yachts by the very rich. In the wild, sour wells are content to float calmly. They apparently do not need to eat and they have no natural enemies. Their breath weapon is quite effective at fending off most predators. Sages agree the prospect of such a creature occurring naturally is slim, but if sour wells were ever involved with magical experimentation, it happened so long ago or in such a remote location that no one has any record of it. Breath Weapon SU A sour well quickly em empties its air bladders as a defense mechanism. This loss of buoyancy causes the sour well to drop 100 feet, leaving a cloud of paralyzing gas in a 10-foot radius around its previous position. Any creature caught in the gas must make a successful fortitude save DC 35 or be paralyzed for 2d4 rounds. Training a sour well. Training a sour well is a mount as a mount or beast of burden requires a successful handle animal check. DC 18 young, DC 25 adult. Sour well young are worth 10,000 gold pieces on the open market. Professional trainers charge 500 gold pieces to rear or train a sour well. Riding a trained sour well requires a gondola or howdow. howdow. A sour well can fight while carrying a rider. Riders and passengers may fight with no need for ride checks. Carrying capacity light 44,736 pounds, medium 89,568 pounds, heavy 134,400 pounds. Berman mounts. Berman serving in the role of a of domesticated creatures is such an alien concept that Berman riders are either extraordinary individuals or part of an unusual society that uses vermin in everyday life. 
The creatures lack the intelligence to make domesticated tricky but not impossible. To make domestication tricky but not impossible. Vermin riders must remain with their mounts almost constantly to maintain their bond. Mount and riders even sleep in the same room in specially constructed barracks slash stables. As a result, the bond is deep. Riders grow close to their mounts and connect with their subtle personalities. Generations long vendettas have been started over a vermin mount slang. Giant Ant Worker ants are tireless pack animals, and soldier ants are fast, fearless mounts. Both also have the useful ability to climb vertical surfaces with a rider. Due to their connection with the queen, though, ants can be difficult to separate from the hive and tame. To solve this problem, alchemists have developed an admixture that makes the drinker smell like a queen ant. See the sidebar. Carrying capacity, light 50 pounds, medium 99 pounds, heavy 150 pounds, worker light 87 pounds, medium 174 pounds, heavy 263 pounds, soldier. DC young slash adult, nothing slash 27. Larva price 200 gold pieces, training cost 100 gold pieces. New Potion, Queen Pheromone Admixture. When consumed, this potion causes the drinker to excuse pheromones that mimic those of a queen ant. In response, 1d4 giant ants within 60 feet must make a will save, DC 13. If they fail, they remain docile and follow the drinker in a line, quietly and slavishly, slavishly for a week. After this, the potion wears off and the drinker must take another drought to keep the ants. Ants who succeed on the will save of those in range who otherwise do not succumb attack the false queen viciously. Caster level 3rd, prerequisite, brew, potion, market price, 300 gold pieces. Giant praying mantis. These are the vermin of choice for palace, city wall, and ceremonial guards because of their natural tendencies to stand still for long periods. Ceremonial mantis mounts are often dyed exotic colors to make their effect more striking as well as easier to find in case one gets separated from the rider. Carrying capacity, light 696 pounds, medium 1,398 pounds, heavy 2,100 pounds, DC, young slash adult, nothing slash 29. Larva price, 500 gold pieces, training cost 300 gold pieces. Giant wasp, mean as a wasp is a cliche for good reason. When a giant wasp takes damage in combat, it attempts to attack the person who hurt it exclusively. As a move equivalent action, a rider must succeed on a ride check DC 20 to get the wasp to dis disengage or attack another foe. A rider involved in such a skirmish usually finds it easier just to go where the wasp wants. Giant wasps make excellent first fast strike mounts for elite soldiers. Carrying capacity, light 300 pounds, medium 600 pounds, heavy 900 pounds, DC young slash adult. Nothing slash 30, larva price, 800 gold pieces, training cost 750 gold pieces. Monstrous scorpion. Large monstrous scorpions ride too low to make good mounts for medium-sized creatures. Humans and their like find huge or larger scorpions to be better fits. However, this size of vermin is extraordinarily difficult to tame in adulthood and the consequences of failure are dire. It is practically a necessity 
to purchase a scorpion from its reputable trainer rather than attempt to train it alone. Carrying capacity, light 918 pounds, medium 1,836 pounds, heavy 2,760 pounds. DC, young slash adult, nothing slash 41. Egg price, 2,000 gold pieces, training cost, 1,000 gold pieces. Monstrous spider. Like monstrous scorpions, large spiders are too gangly and ride too low to be good mounts. Specimens of at least huge, huge size are required. Who, those who can actually tame spiders on this size, of this size, find hunters to be better mounts than web spiders since they are more inclined towards moving and stalking rather than weaving webs in waiting. Like giant praying mantises, however, web spinning spiders are good for stationary duty such as guarding gates. Carrying capacity, light 696 pounds, medium 1,398 pounds, heavy 2,100 pounds. DC adult slash no, young slash adult nothing slash 35 egg price 1000 gold pieces training cost 1000 gold pieces new vermin mounts these new vermin can be used as mounts giant dragonfly large vermin hit dice 3 die 8 plus 3 16 hit points Initiative plus one, speed 20 feet, fly 60 feet, good. AC 14, negative one, size, plus one, dexterity, plus four, natural. Touch 10, flat footed 13. Attacks, bite plus five, melee. Damage, bite 1d8, plus six. Damage, bite 1d8, plus six. Base slash reach 5 foot by 10 foot slash 5 foot. Special qualities. Vermin. Dark vision 60 feet. Saves 4 plus 4. Wrath plus 2. Will plus 2. Abilities. Strength 18. Dexterity 12. Constitution 13. Intelligence nothing. Wisdom 12. Charisma 12. Skills. Hide negative three into it direction plus seven spot plus seven climate slash terrain temperature and warm aquatic and marsh organization solitary pair or swarm five to twenty challenge rating one treasure none alignment always neutral advancement four through six hd large seven through nine hd huge Riders and bandits who ride flying vermin prefer giant dragonflies to other mounts. They're less aggressive than wasps, but more so than bees. They also make a distinct thrumming sound in flight that strikes fear into common folk. Riders prefer to use female dragonflies since males are very territorial. A giant dragonfly is 10 foot long with a 10 foot wingspan. Its body is only 2 foot wide. Training a giant dragonfly. Training a giant dragonfly is as a mount requires a successful handle animals check. DC 30. Giant dragonfly eggs are worth 500 gold pieces on the open market. Professional training trainers charge three hundred dollars or three hundred gold pieces to tame a giant dragonfly. Riding a giant dragonfly requires an exotic saddle. A giant dragonfly can fight while carrying a rider, but the rider cannot also attack unless he or she succeeds on a ride check. Carrying capacity: light three hundred pounds, medium six hundred pounds, heavy nine hundred. Giant fly, Firefly, Large Vermin, Hit Dice, 3D8 plus 6, 19 HP, 
initiative plus two, speed 20 feet, fly 50 feet, good. AC 13, negative one size, plus two dexterity, plus two natural, touch 11, flat footed, 11. Attack, bite plus four, melee, damage, bite 1d3 plus four. Face slash reach, five foot by ten foot slash five foot. Special qualities, Vernon, dark vision 60 feet. Saves, 4 plus 5, breath plus 3, will plus 2. Abilities, strength 16, dexterity 15, constitution 14, intelligence 0 or nothing, wisdom 12, charisma 13. Skills, hide, negative 2, into it, direction plus 7, spots, spot plus 7. Climate slash terrain, temperature, hill, and forest. Organization, solitary or swarm, 5 to 20. Challenge rating, half. Treasure, none. Alignment, always neutral. Advancement, 4 to 6 HD, large. 5 to 9 HD, large. These vermin make excellent search and rescue creatures. Their abdomens glow a soft yellow or green and shed light in a 10 foot radius. A common trick that riders dir direct giant fireflies to perform is light. This keeps a firefly a phosphorus, pho a firefly's phosphorescent abdomen lit indefinitely while the rider searches for group targets. Giant fireflies make poor combat ants, combatants, so their riders flee battle as soon as possible. A giant firefly is nine feet long. Training a giant firefly. Training a giant firefly as a mount requires a successful handle animal check, DC 30. Giant firefly eggs are worth 300 gold pieces on the open market. Professional trainers charge 300 gold pieces to tame a giant firefly. Fighting a giant firefly requires an exotic saddle. A giant firefly can fight while carrying a rider, but the rider cannot also attack unless he or she succeeds on a ride check. Carrying capacity, light, 228 pounds. Medium, 459 pounds. Heavy, 690 pounds. Humanoid shaped mounts. Pushing the bounds of what can be called a mount, some humanoid shaped creatures can be ridden because of the sh their shape and carrying capacity. Such mounts are usually two size categories larger than their riders. The saddle for such a creature resembles an open backpack with a leg with leg holes. When covering distances, riders prefer to ride facing forward, looking over the mount's shoulders. In battle, riders often find it easier to fight back to back with their mounts, essentially riding backwards. Garlon. Garlon. Though these creatures are savage in the wild, Garlons captured young can make hardy amounts for primitive tribespeople. However, riders must keep a tight rein on them since it is impossible to train away a Galilean's aggression and territorial, ter ter territoriality. Although they are not as unrelentingly, unrelentingly mean as owlbears, Garilean's require many of the same training strategies. Carrying capacity, light 612 pounds, medium 1,224 pounds, heavy 1,840 pounds, DC young slash adult 25 slash 32, young price 4,000 gold pieces, training cost 3,000 gold pieces. Gray Renner, a gray Renner does not need a saddle. It, its hunched shoulders provide a broad, flat seating surface, and when carrying a passenger, it gains its surprisingly, 
it, its gait is surprisingly smooth. Some small rider, riders even stand up and pace while riding one. All, of, all this is dependent on the grave render allowing itself to be written, of course. No one understands why or how a grave render makes its decision about whom to adopt, but simply accept the powerful gift it bestows. Once a grave render has adopted a person, it can be trained normally. If its adoptee attempts the training that Handle Animal Tech DC is 10, attempting to train an unwilling gray render is tantamount to suicide. The beasts are unnaturally hard to train. Even the rare baby stolen from its parents is savage and recalcitrant and recalcitrant. The training cost given below assumes that the gray render is not bonded to its trainer. Carrying capacity, light 400 pounds, medium 800 pounds, heavy 1200 pounds, DC young slash adult, 33 slash 40, young price 6,000 gold pieces, training cost 20,000 gold pieces. Ogre. An ogre sometimes straps a goblin with a crossbow to its back and uses the little wrench as a tail gunner. Clever goblins, of which there are few, nurture this relationship, praising their new mount and doing nice things for the ogre. Over time, the goblin can manipulate the ogre enough that the ogre not only does whatever its rider wants, but believes it to be its own idea. From time to time, communities of small folk have raised an ogre baby as one of their own. It grows up friendly to its adopted family and gladly lets them ride piggyback, especially if it can roam with its friends. Carrying capacity, light 306 pounds, medium 612 pounds, heavy 920 pounds, DC young slash adult 22 slash 29. Young price, 1,000 gold pieces. Training costs, 1,500 gold pieces. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Roger Hansen on Patreon. And Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Inker. Breaker. Overcast. Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. Support us on Patreon. And check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.